Hi, welcome to The Untidy Artist. Today we are making a simple felt bow that requires no sewing. These simple bows are a lot of fun on their own. It's also fun to embellish them. Let's grab our supplies. You will need some scissors and some craft felt, a glue gun and a ruler, about a 12 inch piece of dental floss, and some alligator clips to help us assemble our bow, and then some embellishments. I like to use E6000 glue. This is a permanent craft adhesive glue, and to that we can either apply some seed beads or some crystals, and then of course a clip to attach it to. So let's measure our felt. You'll need a strip of felt that's nine inches long by two inches wide. I like to make a little mark with my scissors at the two inch mark, fold it in half, mark it with a pencil, and that gives me a guide to get two inches straight across. You can also use a ruler if you'd like. Lay your felt flat and then fold it over, overlapping slightly to create a circle. Use three tiny dabs of glue to just tack it together. If you use too much glue, it'll be harder to fold the bow. Now we're going to fold our bow directly in half and from the front, make a mark directly at the center point. Now take your bow and from the back, pinch it horizontally right in the middle. And then you're going to take the front part of the bow and fold it towards the middle fold and then the back part of the bow and fold it towards the middle fold. And then use your alligator clips and use your little pencil mark as a guide and put the alligator clips on both sides of your middle mark. Now grab your dental floss and use it to secure the center by wrapping it around several times and tying it securely. You can also use thread for this part. I like the dental floss because it seems to tie better and hold into place better. Remove your alligator clips, clip off the ends of your dental floss, and now we're going to apply the middle. Take your felt and cut a strip that's about a half inch wide by three inches long and we're going to apply this to the center of our bow. So get it into place where you like it. Making sure that it's centered, you're going to tack it into place. So put a small dab of glue at the top of the bow, wrap the strip around the bow, and tack it into place on the other side with another small dab of glue. So you can see we didn't apply any glue to the front of the bow, just the top and bottom to secure the little strip into place. And now we're ready to attach our clip. To help hold the clip into place, we'll be folding over the tail ends of the center of the bow over the clip. So put a small dab of glue, place your clip down, and then opening up your clip, you're going to wrap the felt around the clip. So I do one side at a time, fold open the clip, fold the strip of felt down, and then do the same for the other side. And if you do have any extra of the felt, just clip it off. So opening up my clip again, putting some more glue, and just make sure that when you hold it down, you push the glue flat and make sure it's nice and secure. Now it's time to embellish your bow. You can see some sparkly crystals here, or we're actually going to put some seed beads on the side of the felt. So for this, take a toothpick. We're going to use the toothpick to apply the glue and take a big dab of our permanent craft adhesive and then using the toothpick as a guide, I take it and just place it over the corner of the bow, right in a triangle shape. And then dump your seed beads directly onto the bow and press them down gently, pressing them into the glue. Let it dry for a few minutes before you shake off the excess beads. And then you'll wanna make sure that it dries overnight to make sure that the beads stay into place. And here we have our finished bow. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below, or if you have any ideas of tutorials you'd like to see, you can post those as well. Click here to subscribe for my weekly tutorials, and thumbs up if you like it, and thanks for watching.